Greetings to all who are joining me to receive this teaching of Hazrat Inayat Khan. During this time when our worldwide human family is experiencing the impact of the COVID-19 virus, we come face to face with our shared challenges, our worries, our anxieties, our fear, our loss and grief, vulnerability. We may struggle to keep a positive and hopeful outlook in the midst of these conditions. Consider that in the time that Hazrat Anayat Khan lived, he was experiencing the impact of World War I. His public lectures and talks with his students emphasize impressing upon the mind and heart beauty to produce harmony within one's being, which uplifts the soul and gives one a positive, hopeful outlook. In the previous recorded teaching on harmony and beauty, Hazrat Anayat Khan says, the mind is nourished by thoughts and impressions that are harmonious and productive of beauty. For harmony is the nature of the soul. Beauty is its source and goal. To purify the mind of all undesirable thoughts and impressions, Hazrat Anayat Khan encourages us to throw away disharmony by the power of harmony and to wash away all that lacks beauty by preserving the great power of beauty within oneself. While the current conditions of our life are clouded by uncertainty, doubt, and fear, it uplifts the heart to see wonderful, caring people throwing away the disharmonious, excuse me, disharmonious impressions through acts of beauty. A man in Italy offers his beautiful and harmonious voice in operatic song from the balcony of his home to his surrounding neighbors. Friends share images of beauty from the natural world or messages that inspire and uplift us during this time through social media. Businesses throw away the disharmonious effects of closing and unemployment and find a purposeful opportunity to give hope offering services that meet the needs of the crisis in their communities. The effect produced is renewed hope and optimism in the midst of these uncertain times. It is an example of the condition of mind and heart that Hazrat Anayat Khan speaks of in this passage titled Clearing Impressions. Purity of mind requires the destroying of all bad impressions collected there or received at present. Find every way of annihilation that is suited to each impression so that your mind may be clear. The mind is not only a means of thinking or reasoning, but the king of one's being, and upon the condition of the mind, one's health, happiness, and peace in life depend. I want to interject here and say that when Hazrat and I Khan speaks of the mind, we, we may think this, but in truth, he says it's not just for thinking and reasoning. There's a connection between mind and heart. They are one. So consider this when we hear the word mind. Continuing. Now the question is what to destroy and what to keep in the mind. Collect and keep all that is beautiful and destroy all that is void of beauty. Collect and keep all that is agreeable 
and destroy all that has a disagreeable effect upon you. Collect and keep all that is harmonious and destroy all that creates disharmony in yourself. Collect and keep all that is restful and destroy all that disturbs the peace of your life. As dust gets into the works of a clock and stops the clock, so the effect produced by all impressions that are void of beauty and harmony and which disturb your peace keep you from progress. The mind cannot act properly when it is hindered by impressions which have a paralyzing effect upon it. Life is progress and stopping from progress is death. It is a paralysis of the soul, of the spirit, which is always caused by holding bad impressions in mind. No soul is deprived of happiness in reality. The soul's very being is happiness. A person brings unhappiness upon themselves by holding in their hands the clouds of bad impressions which fall as a shadow upon their soul. Once a person is able to clear from their mind by whatever process, the undesirable pressions, impressions, a new power begins to spring from their heart, opening a way before them, attracting to them all they require, clearing from their path all obstacles, and making their atmosphere clear for them to live and move and to accomplish all they wish to accomplish. There is a prayer inspired through Hazrat and Ayat Khan called Peer. You will find the full prayer in a PDF titled Readings, Reflection and Practice on the website sufi-message Dot org. We will close with a practice, silently reciting select phrases from this prayer upon a rhythmic inhalation and exhalation of the breath, collecting all that is beautiful and harmonious and washing away all inharmonious impressions. We will begin inhaling with this phrase, inspire of my mind, consoler of my heart, healer of my spirit. Now before we begin the practice, take a moment to consider what or who is the source that inspires your mind, consoles your heart, and heals and uplifts your spirit. It may be the beauty of the natural world. For example, the sun's rays piercing through billowing clouds. It may be the beauty of the teaching and example of the Buddha or of Christ or of the prophet Mohammed or a goddess tradition. It may be the beauty of the science and mystery of the cosmos. It may be all these things and more attune to your ideal, the source of your inspiration and upliftment. Well, we begin reciting these phrases. Inhale. 
inspirer of my mind, consoler of my heart, healer of my spirit. The clouds of doubt and fear are scattered by thy piercing glance. Inhale. All ignorance vanishes in thy illuminating presence. Exhale. A new hope is born in my heart by breathing thy peaceful atmosphere. Inhale. O oh, inspiring guide through life's puzzling waves. Exhale. In thee I feel abundance of blessing. Inhale, inspirer of my mind, consoler of my heart, healer of my spirit. Exhale, the clouds of doubt and fear are scattered by thy piercing glance. Inhale, all ignorance vanishes in thy illuminating presence. Exhale, a new hope is born in my heart by breathing thy peaceful atmosphere. Inhale, O oh, inspiring guide through life's puzzling waves. Exhale, in thee I feel abundance of blessing. The prayer closes with the feeling of abundance and blessing harmony and beauty of gratitude that uplifts us and moves us forward through life's puzzling waves. One can recite these phrases upon the breath at any time and as many times as is beneficial to one. May our attunement to our ideal of harmony and beauty be preserved within and may this wash away all bad impressions for the benefit of ourself and for the benefit of all beings. Amen.